If you're new and if you're not, hey y'all. Today we are making egg bites and it's gonna be delicious. This is my first time making them, but I just have faith in myself. Like this is gonna be good. And you know what y'all, I ain't gonna call mine egg bites. I'm gonna call mine omelet bites because I'm gonna have all kinds of stuff in mine. Let's see what our ingredients are. Okay, so of course you know we're gonna have to have eggs, of course. I'm gonna use 12 eggs because I have 12 slots for my egg bites. Then we have our shredded cheese, onion, tomato, bell pepper. I have um, a assortment of bell peppers. <laughs> and then we have some diced ham. And of course, a little salt, a little pepper. And this is gonna be our pan that we're using to put our egg bites in, which we're just gonna bring over here and set on a flat pan. I also have some butter here because I did not buy any of that spray. You know that nonstick spray? I forgot to buy it. So we gonna do it the old school way and we just gonna rub that in there so it don't stick. Y'all don't judge me. We rubbing that butter in there. <laughs> Let's get started. First things first, we're gonna turn our oven on and I think we're gonna put it at about 350. That's the safe. It's safe to put it on 350. And while we're over here, we might as well just rub the butter in. Go ahead and get this prepped. Putting butter on each little muffin slot. I got this from Amazon, y'all. It came in one day. I love Amazon so much. I think it was about $10.99. I really don't know how much these cost normally, but it's just so convenient to get it from Amazon. Now that we have that all done, that all greased together, we're about to chop our vegetables up. Now these are already chopped up, so I'm just gonna cut these up with the scissors um, just to make them a little bit smaller, but I pre-cut these when I bought them, so we're just gonna make them a little bit smaller. I've been dreaming all night Bringing me some inspiration Never meant to love no one Baby, I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way. Don't wanna waste no time without you ever grinding up my days. Never meant to fall so hard. vegetables all nice and finely chopped we are gonna go ahead and get our eggs in here now we're gonna go ahead and put our eggs in our bowl and get this all scrambled up so we can throw all the um, toppings on there I don't know if y'all seen me before but just know I'm not good at cracking eggs so sometimes we gotta take a little shell out the first one was good though that first one was good That one sucked. <laughs> Sometimes you get a little shell in there. And by sometimes, most of the time, look at me y'all, still, it's the shell for me. Nobody wants any crunchy eggs, so let's try to do better this time. We can't be picking them out every single time. How many eggs is that? One, two, three, four, five. That's five. Just a few more. Okay, y'all. We got our eggs, no shell. We got, we got our eggs minus the shell. And we just gonna put a little salt and pepper in it. I don't like too much my eggs, y'all. I like my eggs with salt and pepper. I don't be needing all that seasoning, salt, garlic powder. People be putting a lot of stuff in their eggs. Please give me salt and pepper in my eggs. I like all the vegetables in there to make it taste good. But all that seasoning, salt and pepper for me. We gonna put a little pepper in there. Now I like my eggs black with pepper, but we ain't gonna do that this time. And then a little salt. 
salt there. Okay, y'all. And I'm not going to put too much salt in there because the cheese and the meat has already got saltiness in it and we don't want to overdo it. So now we're going to mix this together. And I don't know what my regular um, whisk is, so we're going to use this one. It goes to my mixer. And we're just going to kind of break the eggs up like so. And we ain't going to do too much with them because we still need to add some milk. What I didn't tell y'all was we're going to add some milk to it. So I have 2%. We're using 2%. We don't measure over here. We just see what we need to do. So we just going to put about uh, that much. That's enough. That's enough. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit to make it a little better. We're just going to put a little bit in there just to make it taste better. So we're going to add all of our ingredients that we chopped up to this little eggs mixture bowl. Um, so we're not going to use all of it. I'm going to put some up for next time. But let's just start with some onion. Can you really ever have enough onion? I'm going to get a handful of onion. Put that in there. Maybe a little bit more onion. We love onion. Then I'm going to get some of my peppers. Make sure I get all the colors in there. We want red, yellow, and green. I guess red, yellow, and orange for now because these are the ones that were already frozen. So we're just going to add a couple of handfuls of that in there. Like so. Um, might as well add some bell peppers. And I'm saying bell peppers because I always get green. We're going to add the green bell peppers. Boop. And we're going to add our tomatoes. We're going to add a little bit more tomatoes. Now we have our trusty diced ham that's already diced for us. We're going to pour a little of that in there. Can y'all see this? We're just going to pour a little. We need the meat. We need the meat in there. Pour a little meat in there. And of course, you know, we're going to need the cheese. I mean, what is an omelet without cheese? This is an omelet to me. <laughs> What is an egg bite without cheese? Like, what are we doing? So we're just going to get a handful of cheese, like so, and just like a little handful, like a little half handful and put that in there because cheese, like it's cheese. What are we supposed to do with that? And this is what our mixture is looking like. If y'all can see this. All right, y'all can mix it with me. We're just gonna mix that all together, y'all. Honestly, Whatever you have left over, you can just make a lot more um, egg bites or an omelet. You can make an omelet with this. Stir that bad boy up. It's looking good to me. What about y'all? Is it looking like something y'all want to eat? Oh, man, y'all. Y'all missed the pour. Y'all missed the pour of this. Anyway, I thought y'all were recording, but y'all weren't. It's fine. At least we caught it before it's done. So I went ahead and poured all of the, all of our little egg mixture into the pan. And at first, um, we had some left over, but what we did, we just went ahead and topped it off. So now it's pretty much overflowing. It ain't overflowing yet, but you know, it looks like it. If we bump it, it will spill out. But that's fine. We're about to put it in the oven now. You're going to be real careful getting it to the oven. One hand in it. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. We're going to one hand it to the oven, y'all. There we go. Oh, ooh, I'm pushing it too much. I'm pushing it too much. It's going to spill out. Bam. Let's close that bad boy up. And this is my first time making the egg bites. So I'll check on that in about 15 minutes and see, you know, how far we've come. Okay, y'all, let's go check on the egg bite. Ooh, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. Look at them popping all out of the muffin pan. Do y'all see this beautifulness? Do y'all see how beautiful this is? Looking like an omelet, little mini omelets. Look at this one right here. He couldn't wait to come out. He about to push himself out. I'm excited. This is my first time making egg bites and I feel like I did a good job. Pat myself on the back before I eat it. Let's try them out. Okay, y'all, I don't know if it's the 
silicone pans or if it's the butter but these bad boys are popping out so we can take them all out I'm already liking the silicone pan look how easy it's coming out boom bam boom <laughs> look at my beautiful display y'all it's so beautiful you too pretty to eat let's eat this little skinny one right here we gonna eat this little skinny one right here Mmm. Hey. Mmm. Mm. You can taste all the vegetables and everything in here. Mm. I did a good job. I did a good job. We're gonna put them bad boys in the refrigerator and we're gonna be eating on them every morning this week. I am so excited. Okay, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, like, like. Comment, comment, comment. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I love y'all. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.